Welcome back 643 on Daybreak and new this morning. There's been a lot of negative headlines lately about TikTok and the amount of time that especially teenagers spend on the most popular app in the world. Yeah, but this isn't one of those stories. Turns out TikTok is actually motivating young people to read more. As Daybreak's Lauren Hall reports, the trend doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. Doing the no? They speak their own language. There's a lot of acronyms for books. Uh, for example, Song of Achilles will say like T-S-O-A, obviously TBR. They're trendsetters. The only other time that I can remember a push like this towards books is when Oprah had her TV show and she would announce her pick. People would come in before the show was over looking for it. It's definitely really good so far. You could say they're obsessed. Every day. All I want to do is sit down and read. I listen to audiobooks in the car. I listen to my book on the way here. Like it's an everyday thing for me now. Like because of book talk. Wait, because of what? Hashtag book talk. Book talk. The book talk. If you're a big reader, you're going to end up on Book Talk. Book Talk. It's when people go on TikTok to talk about books they love. <laughs> Tracy Shoydock, lead bookseller at the Barnes and Noble on Niagara Falls Boulevard in Amherst, says it's I mean, amazing. Like, yeah. yeah. When has this ever happened? I've in the never. Book industry? I've been in the book industry for the better part of 16 years. I started at my first bookstore in 2006. I've never seen anything like this. She's talking about sales that are through the roof. Barnes & Noble has seen a spike since the pandemic, and 2022 is already on track to outperform the last three years. Which is why, when you walk into a bookstore these days, you might see some staff members doing stuff like this. Our manager said once our Instagram reached a certain number of followers, we could have TikTok. We hit that almost immediately then, and now our TikTok's doing significantly better than our Instagram. Senior bookseller Sam Schnell oversees the BN Amherst NY TikTok account, which has more than 100,000 likes. So I take everyone else's ideas, occasionally my own when I think I'm funny, and kind of direct the videos and edit them into the final product. Is that kind of cool? Like, oh, yeah. Say, oh, I saw you in the TikTok. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. it's fun. It's like we'll, we'll come to, we'll come to work and like a new end cap will show up one of our displays and we'll be like we have to we want to promote it. So we'll do some sort of audio and film a video based on that display and promote that book and people will come in asking for it. As you can imagine, it's usually people from a specific demographic. Yeah. It's usually around like college kids to I would say like middle school to college is the stereotypical age range. A lot of younger people are getting the physical books and what have you. A lot of older people will be like, what do you have ex, uh, this magazine or what or something or can you help me with my nook and, and young people are like, I would rather have this book. It's just that normalization of reading for especially like the younger generation. And independent bookstores are seeing the same trend. The store was always kind of like the older demographic and then younger families with children that are buying children's books. But it's really nice now that we're finally able to, to close the gap there and we're getting younger readers in. It's like that bridge age in yes. the middle, yeah. And yep. that's the TikTok demographic, right? Yeah, absolutely, yes. Bob Lingle has owned Good Neighbor Books in Lakewood for the last four years. As the store's sole proprietor and employee, he's also the face of its TikTok account. I went from just kind of casually watching videos on TikTok, you're like, oh, I, I need to start utilizing this myself. I uh, realized just a moment ago. The platform has helped Bob connect with readers far beyond his small Chautauqua County village. We have regular customers um, now that don't live anywhere near us. We recently rebranded our store to be Good Neighbor Bookstore, so it's very much on brand for us to be a part of a community that is trying to be good neighbors and, and connect with the, the community, be it our local community or more of a national audience through, through TikTok. And just to break this down a little bit further, the director of books at Barnes & Noble tells us that they're seeing a demand for all paperbacks, not just new releases and not just the titles that trend on BookTok. They think that readers are coming into stores looking for something specific, but then they get there and discover much more on the shelves. The surge and excitement around reading has led them to do remodels in a lot of the stores, like the one that's currently underway at the Barnes & Noble in Amherst. But Peter Melissa, the independent booksellers like Bob say that they're really using this opportunity to connect with their young shoppers and explain to them the importance of supporting those small bookstores too. 
Yep, absolutely. You get some great deals in the small bookstores. So, love it. Thanks yeah, very much, Lauren. Thanks. All right.